Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue on the phone messages example that I've been building. I've added some items, created some views, and now I'm going to create a workflow that sends an email to the person being called that there's a phone message. So in order to do that, I will open SharePoint Designer 2013 and I will copy the link to my site. I do that by clicking the home button there and um, opening that site. There we go, I'm gonna paste the path, open. So then I'll go into the lists and libraries, find the phone messages, and there I'm gonna create a new workflow. Notify about phone call. And that's going to be a SharePoint 2013 workflow. You could actually do it in the SharePoint 2010 or 2013. It doesn't matter in this case, but I'm going to do it in the 13. And the, the first thing I'm going to do when I get into the workflow here is add an ending. Of course, the workflow has to end. So I'm going to type go here and then just enter. Then I'll get the go to a stage action there. And I'm going to select end of workflow. And of course, that's what you need to do in on all SharePoint 2013 workflows. You need to add an end to it. Then I'm going to go back. Here you see in the breadcrumb, I'm going to go back one step and look at the workflow settings. I can do that by clicking this button too. And that takes me to the summary page for this workflow on which I'll look at the start options. And this workflow could be manually started, maybe, but I'm primarily going to run it when an item is created not actually when an item is changed because I only want the notification to go out once. Then I'll go back and edit the workflow by clicking here or there. So I'm back in the workflow and when a new item is created I'm going to do an action and the action I'm going to do is send an email. And then I'll click on this blue underlined thing here, email these users and the email is going to go to the person who was being called. So I'm going to do a workflow lookup for a user, find the current item called field. I'm not going to use the login name, I'm going to use the email address there. All right, so there we have an address, and I'm going to type in the subject, phone call from, and then I'm going to continue with the text editor, and after that I'm going to add the name of the person who called. And that's, of course, in the name field. There we go, name. In the body of my email, I'm going to type the phone number is. That way, if they get this email on their phone, then they can just click the phone number here. So I'm going to add a, a lookup there, current item, and then the phone number, which is in the title field, which we renamed to phone number. There we go, all right? And then I'm going to do the call was received. I have that in the email too. And that's going to be the created time, of course. You can return that as a string, as a long time would be good. And then I'm going to do who received the phone call. I'm going to add that to the created by. And in that case, I don't want the email address. I want the display name of that person. Finally, I want to add a link to the edit form so that it's very easy to go into the phone message and check that I've returned the phone call. So that I will do in the next demo. But let's try this first. So first I'm gonna click OK, and then I'm gonna publish. And let's add a new item here. Phone number, Donald Duck, was the person who called, and the person they called was me, Peter Kamström. And of course I'm gonna save that now. So in a few seconds, I should get a new email here. Let's refresh the page and we'll see a new column at, coming up here. Let's try that again. I can go in and see the workflow running. If I go into advanced and check workflows, we'll see here that there is no uh, workflows running. Let's go back to the summary page and it starts automatically. So yep, everything should be working. One thing with workflows, once you start looking for the problem, that's when the workflow starts running. So after a while here, I see that it's on stage one. I can click on that 
and uh, I see now that the internal status is completed. So the workflow did what it was supposed to. Let's go back to the phone messages and remove this from the view. I actually don't want it there. So I'm going to modify the view to not show the status of the workflow. And then I'm going to go into my email and look at it. Let's see there. Mail. Phone call from Donald Duck. And there's the phone number. And it was received at that time by me. In the next demo, I'm going to add a link to the actual phone message also in this email. But that shows you how to make a workflow that sends notification about incoming phone messages. Thank you for watching this demo.